I'm really excited to have our guest today, Ken Howden is back, and this time you really want to watch if you're an event designer or event planner because she's going to be sharing how to do mock-ups, but this time it's in a 3D program that looks so real. Your clients are about to hire you right on the spot. My name is Ken Howden and I'm the owner and creative director at Celebrate 3D Renders. We are a 3D event rendering software specifically for event planners just like you. Hello, I am so excited to be here. Thank you, Jordi Ann, for allowing me to educate your subscribers on the fun, creative ways you can elevate your client experience. Um, so like you, I am an event planner. And there's times when things are in my head and I can't convey it to my clients. So I sketch. I sketch out something and I submit it to them. Crickets. Yep, that used to be me. Crickets. Ghosted. <laughs> and it wasn't until, um, yeah, my sister actually, she laid it down to me. And she's like, I know in your head you think that you are conveying a message to your clients and you are showing them exactly what they need and exactly what you're going to do. That's not the case. You can't draw it. She told me straight up, I can't draw. So <laughs> I took it upon myself to take my skills from interior design into the event space. So I started creating 3D renderings, skyrocketed. My leads skyrocketed, my retention skyrocketed, clients were not ghosting me anymore. And I can say that it was because of my 3D renders and because I presented myself as, as an event planner with value. I was able to convey my messages. I was able to convey the designs and their desires because I took exactly what was in their head and I was able to show them. I was able to take models that are to scale from my local vendors, and I was able to create their event right there for them. So now they're able to see it. They trust in the vision. I show my befores and afters. It, it changed my business. So now I am happy to present to you guys um, this software that is taking me a couple years to create and to tweak and to develop, but I am so excited for you guys to get the sneak peek and for you guys to see how the software um, is used in real time. So over the next week, I will be showing you guys the behind the scenes of me creating some designs for my clients. And I'll be also just showing you the features of the software. So please do um, in the description bar below, sign up for our waitlist where you will be notified as soon as we launch, which is coming in a couple of weeks. So please do sign up down below. Um, okay, and let's get started with this takeover. Day one, we are starting off with a wedding ceremony. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it, and I will see you guys next time. Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Today is the first day of the takeover. I am so excited to show you guys what the software is able to do and how you can elevate your business um, just by incorporating the 3D renderings um, within your business. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, I am going to be creating a quick and easy ceremony. Um, so as you see here, this is already in a pre-made um, tent and I'm just adding in the design elements. I am using um, faux trees here just to add some ambiance. Um, and the great thing about it is that all of these items that we have within our inventory are actually um, inventory standard, or I wouldn't say they're standards, but inventory um, elements that we can get from anywhere. What will be here in Toronto, will be here in California, and it will be there in New York. Um, and the cool thing about it is that if you have something that you are making custom, you're able to drop in um, the textures and um, different design elements to make it your own. That's the beauty um, about this software that I love, um, is that 
a lot of the things can be custom. So you don't have to go with the cookie cutter. So for example, that sofa was brown, and now I am changing it. I'm changing it to a different texture. Um, next, you're gonna see me changing the hardware um, to a different color, um, and I'm making it my own. I just don't have to keep whatever um, inventory item is there. I have the ability to change it, and I don't have to go, and you guys don't have to come to me. <laughs> um, the software, um, in order to create it you can do it your own next thing I'm going to show you guys here is the array tool I love the array tool it is an amazing tool um, you can create multiple items within seconds and we're going to show you here with the chairs um, I am playing around to see how many chairs will fit in this row um, and I'm just adjusting it and you'll see that it's just going to duplicate that item so whatever item I am hovering over and I click array as you see boom I have chairs. Chairs are made. So I don't have to drop each and every um, chair individually down. All I have to do is just create an array with it. So now I'm going to take this um, row and I am going to multiply it. And it's going to come all the way down. Um, it's just so simple and it's easy. This was one tool I definitely said that we had to have because um, it just makes it so much easier for us to drag and drop. Um, I know time is, <laughs> isn't always on our side, um, so I had to make sure that um, we had that within the software, that it's easy for you guys to drag and drop. Um, I just made it really seamless. Um, yeah, and I know you guys are going to love it. Like, you could just leave the ceremony like this and your ceremony is done. Pretty much. And that took, what, maybe three, four minutes? Um, but of course, I'm going to add a few more items. Um, not a lot, but just a few more. Um, another cool thing, as I mentioned earlier, is that a lot of the things are custom. So as you see there, that was just a plinth. Um, I just maneuvered the size. I changed it up. And now I'm going to be adding an arrangement on top of it to make it custom. Because for this design, I wanted to have something that was a bit more texture and I wanted to add a floral arrangement um, there. And I'm not too fancy about the color with the pink. It's, it's not the vibe for this design. So I'm easily just gonna change it to um, white and green, right? And then I can group it. Um, and you'll actually see that I'm gonna be using this exact same um, design in the reception. Um, so I'm able to save it um, as one of my favorites and then I am going to be able to add it to other designs, future designs, um, where I may change the base to a pink or I may change it to a lavender. Um, you have the ability to change that um, to anything that you want. So as you see here, I'm grouping them together. Um, I love the group. <laughs> I love to group things. Just makes it so much easier because I can just drag and drop. Um, and here you have two views. You have the 2D view and the 3D view. So you can actually use both of them um, in order to create your design. Um, yeah. And then here I am going to show you how to do a render. So the rendering is really easy. You have different backgrounds. Um, oh, yeah, here I'm just erasing some of the chairs that I had um, off in the distance. You do want to get rid of those because they will show up in your, um, in your design and you don't want that. Um, so yeah, here I am playing around with the background. I am making it into um, a, a, a grassy background. I couldn't think of the word there. Um, but yeah, you can also add in your own um, background. So if it was in the backyard of your clients and you have the actual photo of the of your client's backyard, you can do that also. Um, and then here is the render. This is quick and easy. Um, this is just a straight on view. And look how realistic and photo realistic these things are, these designs are. Um, you see here, everything is highlighted. Everything has um, the shading, which you don't have to worry about. Um, the lighting, it sets itself. Um, yeah, and it's just super easy. And all of the clients are going to be impressed because believe me, mine are. And um, you will get referrals <laughs> upon referrals upon referrals. 
Okay, so this is um, the ceremony. Um, next, tomorrow, we will be doing the reception, and I hope to see you guys there. Please make sure um, in the description to click on the link where you will get access to um, the waitlist, where you will join our waitlist for our launch, which is happening soon. See you then. Bye-bye. Now, I cannot thank Can enough for sharing her skills with us, for sharing her program. I'm linking everything down below for how you can connect with her. Check her out, reach out, don't be shy. She's waiting for you. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.